My absolute favorite dish is a, a panko crusted uh, pork tenderloin, uh, a little bit of a little bit of blue cheese, a little bit of fusilli. It's it's perfect. I crave it. I'm Mike Delamont, man of comedy. Our guest today is stand-up comedian Mike Delamont. Today we're preparing crispy pork roulade with blue cheese and pulled pork and a roasted vegetable and three cheese casserole. We're making his dish my way. I'm Garrett Shack, and that's what we're cooking on the coast. Today we're having a laugh with stand-up comedian Mike Delamont. Hello. Hello, sir. Mike, you know, you might tickle the funny bone, but on this stage, I get the last laugh. That's fair. Today we're preparing crispy pork roulade stuffed with pulled pork and blue cheese, oh, so and it's coming with a roasted vegetable and three cheese casserole. It sounds so good. It does sound delicious. Ah, doesn't I'm it? excited. Now I omitted a couple of things. No, there's no pasta today because you know I'm trying to. Then I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm get back over here. There's no pasta. You, you, got, you got some work to Pasta's do. Pasta's the best. What uh, are you gonna put the cheese sauce on? Well, that's true. We're gonna put it on all the vegetables. You wait and see. Wait and see. All right. All right. I, it's it's okay. You know. I mean, uh, we're we're doing this oh, my nice. way, right? All right. All right. I'm excited. So we're gonna start with making a roux. Roux. So comedian and culinarian. <laughs> no, a comedian that has time during the day to watch <laughs> cooking shows. That's it. Fair enough. A fat man who enjoys <laughs> looking behind the scenes. Well, no, I always say nobody trusts a skinny chef. That's right. That's right. Fair. All right. Uh, so making the roux, and roux is essentially uh, like oil or butter. In this case, we're using butter and flour. Okay. Nice. Equal parts. So you want the same amount of butter to flour. Works for me. And I got a little extra flour here, so I'm not gonna put it all in. And then we just want to sort of stir it around here. And what we're doing is the heat is going to cook up, cook out the flour a little bit, so we don't get that. You don't want that floury taste in your, in your dish, right? So, uh, I got it on number seven here okay. on this thing. So we want like a medium heat. If we wanted a dark roux, we would cook it longer. We'd roast our flour and all that kind of stuff. What's but that it, for? Uh, Cajun cuisine uses okay. it, like making an etouffee. They would yeah, do yeah. this really dark, sort of uh, nutty flavor from nice. the flour. But not us. We don't want that. So we got our flour cooked out here a little bit, and then we're gonna add. I've got milk and cream in this one over here. You have milk and cream. Both, yeah. Because we parts? want. Yeah, we want to make sure it's nice and rich. All right, I like it. Right. Well, we gotta stay warm in the winter, I like right? Your blue cheese. It does look good, doesn't it? Do you like blue cheese? Oh, it's so good. I, I love, love blue, cheese. blue cheese. is the best. It's so stinky well, and wonderful. Exactly, and it adds like this extra element of flavor that's kind of like, oh wow, but you don't really realize it's blue cheese because you won't see it in here. Yeah. So those people that are like, oh god, I hate blue cheese. It brings that nice sharp taste to it. Exactly. I love it. Yeah, it gives it a little bit of a bite, right? I was in a restaurant. We had blue cheese stuffed olives in the martini. Oh yeah. And I had way too many. I got I... <laughs> too many martinis or olives. Too many martinis, but it was just for the olives. All I want, I should have just ordered olives. Fair enough. I was like, these olives are fantastic. <laughs> it's my mistake. It was my mistake. Well, it happens. Uh, so, Mike, tell me a little bit about uh, you and the comedy scene. Like, how does uh, this all work for you? I tell jokes okay. and uh, travel the world. That's been uh, that's been the go-to so far. What are you putting in now? Salt. Okay. Salt. Two so pinches. Two pinches. Nice. We could do a third if we wanted. You do whatever you want. Well, we'll taste it afterwards, right? I only know how to cook pasta. You're just you're getting into a whole different. We're world. going to a whole different world here for you. But yeah, I tell so, jokes. I travel the world, do some comedy festivals, and that's have some one-man shows. One man, sh eat, one, so eat, where you're just up on stage all by yourself? Yeah. And how does that uh, how does how does that work? Like, it, do you play different characters, or is it just no, uh, just one character? I okay. can't. Yeah, I'm not I'm not very good. So uh, <laughs> it's just it's just me. Yeah. I can't, oh, perfect. Can't write well, that's dialogue. exactly why you have, we had you on this show. Exactly. Right? Exactly. I don't play well with others. <laughs> said every report card ever. So it was it was my lot in life. Said every teacher. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Now you got an interesting story. How you got into comedy? You I are? Yeah, we were, talking, we were talking about how you didn't quite get your final oh, English mark. Yeah, no, I, well, it's we, funny. We won't talk about why, but it was... I failed an English class, and uh, now I'm a professional playwright, which <laughs> makes me feel good. Uh, like one of these to the yeah, teacher, take that, right? take that. I see you, Veronica Jones. I know what you do. <laughs> That's her real name. But she was a lovely teacher. I just right. failed the course. I was a bad student. Fair enough, but, that happens. Uh, she passed me the second time, so there you go. Yeah, you must, you must have been doing charm. something, right? Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, we're yeah. gonna go in there with a fair bit of blue cheese. Ooh, so we've like got it. three cheeses going in here. We've got mozzarella and cheddar, which okay. is what we dumped in there earlier. And then we added the blue cheese for that extra bit of bite. Okay. Now, uh, would you do me a favor, Mike, and yes. grab, there's some roasted vegetables that we've already pre-roasted in the top oven there. Okay. Whoa, 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 gotta save some for the roulade. <laughs> I'm it for I bring me. a limited amount. This is a tight budget show. Are there, are yeah, there gloves? Right here. Just uh, this? We never use gloves in, uh, in real kitchens. People make fun of us and point and laugh, that kind that of thing. That sounds like a terrible idea. Oh, well, safe, safety isn't our number one concern, I'd say. <laughs> safety third. <laughs> safety third. 
Where are we going? Right here. Right here. Yep. So actually, we can just turn them right into this. So we've got some uh, zucchini, some pepper, some red onion, and some portobello mushroom. Here, let me give you a hand here. Can we get them? They smell tasty, don't they? Yeah, they smell fantastic. Lovely color. So we're going for visual effect here too, right? Yeah, so beautiful. we want it to smell good, taste good, look good. Smells great. Uh, I'll get you through a little salt on there. Go ahead. I hesitated. I got, you you I totally did. Yeah, I know How what happened. You Stage fright? I, just, I didn't know. Oh. I, I was like, do I put it on this? Where am I putting yeah, it? Yeah, right on there. Nice. Pepper, you can do the pepper. I'm going to grab some like fresh our herbs dance here. here. This is nice. It is lovely, isn't it? It's almost like a ballet. Take this, know, we should take this on the road. We should. When I was a kid, we had a little uh, a salt shaker. Yeah. My mom bought it, and we had it for months and months and months. And then one big Thanksgiving dinner, we had guests over, and they, they were like, what's this on the top? And they peeled away a sticker, and it had been covering the top of the salt shaker <laughs> for months. We'd never put any salt never in any of our food. Never actually put salt on anything? We just lied to ourselves over and over <laughs> and over again. That's awesome. Okay, we're going to give our cheese sauce a little taste here. Spoon for you, sir. Nice. All I can taste is blue cheese. Well, over, then, I, it, then it should taste I, really good. I overcommitted. Yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> Perfect. Seasoning's great. Oh, I like it. Mm. That's fantastic. I think you get a little hint of that blue cheese. I'm sure you're yeah, tasting you blue sure cheese. Yeah, you for sure get. You get a little hint of it. Yeah, you just set it down on the yeah, side Yeah, but it's not dominant at all. No, exactly. So if you were a blue cheese, like if you didn't like blue cheese, no. right, uh, you wouldn't be put off by this dish, I think right? people like blue cheese. They just don't think they like blue yeah, cheese. Yeah, they just don't know it yet. People like sharp cheddar, and it's almost the same. It just doesn't have that moldy look to it. Exactly. And some are, you know, some are stronger than others, yeah. that's for sure. But So we're going to pour that cheese sauce right over. I did this. Go. Yeah, just give it a little shake. And then panko for crunch. Panko for crunch. So nice. I'm kind of taking your dish here and mixing it yeah, up yeah. a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah. So the texture. This has been um, seasoned. So we've got garlic in here and olive oil, salt, pepper, uh, just to sort of moisten it. I like it. And then we're gonna sprinkle it all over top. Nice this guy here. And we want a fair bit because we oh, I can smell the garlic. Did you get a whiff of yeah. that? Yeah. No, it's it's good. There we go. This is great. Yeah. And pretty simple, right? Once you got yeah. the vegetables roasted, the cheese sauce didn't take any time at all. And now we're just gonna. I'll get you to fire that right in the oven. And uh, that's our cue to kind of go to the commercial break here. Oh, I like it. I know, this is where I get to do a fun part. And is it totally ready? When we come back, is it done? Is it through the magic <laughs> of television? Right. It's already... You don't get that luxury on a comedy show. I get magic stuff. We're going to sit here for like eight hours until this cooks, and then you'll be back, <laughs> and, and then we'll be, be like, back. it's done! Look, it's all ready! <laughs> nice. <laughs> we'll be back later in the show with Mike to pull together our crispy pork roulade with blue cheese and pulled pork, roasted vegetable, and three cheese casserole. But first, following the break, we're getting out of the studio. You'll want to stick around for that. I'm excited. Excellent job. You did great. You did yeah. great. You know what? That was fun. Here we are in the great outdoors at Arbutus RV. With me is Rose Little. Hi, Rose. How are you? I'm great, Garrett. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. So... You know, we try to, you know, get things a little fancier here. We do the glamping kind of concept, right? Absolutely. Um, so, you know, what are what are some of the advantages to being in a in a you know gorgeous trailer like the one we see behind us here today? Oh well, you know, we have uh, units that could you can go glamping or you can just go pretty regular. But uh, glamping is certainly my style. So <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> yeah, and we certainly love the conveniences of being able to pre-prep everything at home and load up the RV and adventures abound and head out. So. Perfect. Well, yeah. that's that's sort of the concept for today's dish here, too. So this, as you can see here, has been prepared beforehand. So we've got this crab stuffing. We're going to stuff these uh, these peppers here. Right. Um, so we've got crab and cream cheese, some brie cheese in there. Yeah, and it's brilliant. Putting it in a Ziploc bag and using right. it as a... Yeah. So you just put that right in your fridge. It's all been prepped yeah. at home. You put that right in the, the gorgeous... Because, I mean, these things have fridges bigger than the one I have at my house, right? Yeah, so, a lot of them have residential fridges, for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's it. So what we would do is bring that along. And I'm going to show you a cool little trick here, how it's going to actually work as a uh, as a piping bag for our for our stuffed pepper here. So we want to cut the seeds out of the middle like this. And I'm going to show you just how easy it is. A few seeds in that one, hey? There we go. Now I'm going to get you to actually squeeze that bag. Okay. I've cut the cut the tip here already. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get you to squeeze that all down into the pepper here. There you go. And we're just going to fill this guy right up. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Push hard. Good stuff. Okay, perfect. All right. There we go. So we've got that squeezed in there like that. Brilliant idea. Right? Mm -hmm. Super simple. It's all nicely filled with the uh, with the crab and cream cheese mixture. And then we fire it right on the grill. Nice hot spot. 
And what's going to happen in there is that's going to char the pepper a little bit and it's going to help melt that cream cheese and all that kind of stuff. As you can see, we have some on there already. Yeah. So let me grab those and we'll put them on the plate there. And can you tell us what's in the stuffing? Yeah, absolutely. So there's cream cheese, uh -huh. brie. Yep. Obviously, Dungeness crab because we're here on the West Coast, right? Dungeness crab is delicious and sweet. Yeah. We've got some chorizo in there, some chives, a little bit of lemon zest, uh, salt, pepper, of course. I think that's just about it. Perfect. So we'll close that guy up and let it cook. And then what we want to do, I would probably just put a little lemon on there, give it a squeeze, and then you and I can have a bite. What do you think? All right. That's the best part of doing this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's the perks, right? Yeah. There we go. We'll probably just squeeze just like that. Fork and knife, and away we go. All right. Here, actually, why don't I cut a little piece off right here? And have that one. Perfect. All right. Give me your opinion. Glamping food from the glamper. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> <laughs> Mine's falling apart. Mm. A little bit of heat, not too spicy though, because we've taken the seeds out. Mm. Mm. What kind of peppers do you use? Those are Anaheim peppers. Mm. Delicious. Pretty neat, hey? Mm -hmm. Gourmet jalapeno poppers for our glamping lifestyle. Wonderful. <laughs> Thanks very Doesn't much. Doesn't get any better than that. No kidding, mm -hmm. hey? I gotta get back to the kitchen. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> it's back to our kitchen where we're working with stand-up comic Mike Delamont on my version of his favorite dish. We're doing crispy pork roulade with blue cheese and pulled pork, roasted vegetable and three cheese casserole. So the casserole is in the uh, in the oven. It smells so good. Cooking away. It does smell good, doesn't oh, it? Oh, smells good. It's been eight or ten hours since eight we were last hours. here. Yep. <laughs> but now we got to work on the pork part, right? And then and this is you know when uh, when you sent your dish to me, I was like, okay, so clearly there's a bit of a love for the for the pork here. Yes. So, yeah. So I thought it's pork on pork on pork. Right. So uh, I'm going to do not, we're going to use the pork to make it crispy, not panko. Okay. okay. So, but what we want to do first here is open up this pork loin. Nice. So with a fairly nice sharp knife, I'm just sort of going to, I guess, butterfly it. But as you can see, I'm just running the knife along and rolling it out. Okay. As we go here. All right. So this would be like, so... In, I feel like you've done this before. Yeah, once or twice. In, in German cuisine, uh, this is known as Rouladen, and then they stuff beef with this and then roll it back up. So that's where I kind of got the inspiration for this one. Blue cheese, because we both have a penchant for the blue cheese. <laughs> nice, yeah. Right? Put a little stank on it. Yeah, I like it. exactly. <laughs> exactly. And then pulled pork. So we just have some pulled pork that was, you know, maybe was left over from yesterday's sandwich. It never <laughs> happens at my house that there's leftover <laughs> no. pulled pork. Who has <laughs> leftover? Who's like, I don't need any of that yeah. pulled pork. No, Let's just, just I, let it I've go. I've just had too much. Yeah. Right? That's not a thing. <laughs> no. Uh, I'm going to wipe my hands. Can you put some salt and pepper in the middle of that guy? Yes, I can. Excellent, I can sir. Uh, Tell me about the Halifax uh, Comedy Festival. I mean, I used to live in the East Coast, and I know it's uh, a big deal back there. They're great. I love doing it. People in the East Coast are fantastic. They are, and, aren't they? Yeah, they're the best. They're awesome. They're so so friendly and so welcoming. And we did a big tour there. We did 14 cities, wow. which I don't know what the East Coast did to the map making people, but I <laughs> thought it was going to be like just short little jaunts. And the East Coast is massive. The Maritimes is huge. It is huge. That's because oh. there's no straight roads. No, there's nothing. I think, I think that's what it is. <laughs> hours and hours to the next biggest city. I thought it would just be a hop, skip, and a jump, but no, it was it was a lot. Driving and driving. I mean, yeah. what about that bridge? Right. The bridge is beautiful. <laughs> and and it's huge. Yeah. Okay. Back to the cooking here for one quick second. Prosciutto. Uh, prosciutto. So nice. we're adding that third element of pork here. I dig it. Uh, make, making a little sleeping bag. Yeah, you got that right. We're gonna. So we got that all stuffed in. We rolled it back up, and now we're going to. Yeah, you are. Do this right here. Yeah. Nice. Get it. Get it on there. Now the key here is we have this side that doesn't look so pretty, but it's uh, we want to cook it on this side first. Nice. That's okay. Down Cause, first. Yeah, because that's gonna seal the sort of pork in there a little bit and crisp up are you, the uh, prosciutto. So are you searing and then cooking in the oven or are you doing it all on we're the gonna top? We're going to sear it then put it in the oven. Nice. Just like that. There we go. Now we're not going to add any other salt to the outside of this because prosciutto as you yeah, probably know is a cured salty, ham yeah. kind of thing, right? So it'll be salty anyway. And we're just going to let that sort of sear on all sides. Give it a little pepper. 
Uh, what else you got? What else you got? So you do the one-man drag show. We are drag one-man drag show. <laughs> <laughs> we, we did already talk about the one-man show, but My we never really talked about like, what I it was. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I knew there was something wrong with that kid. So I do a... a I do a one-man show called God is a Scottish Drag Queen. Okay. It's a trilogy of shows, and it plays all over the place. And yeah, that's most of my year, about yeah. 100 and something shows a year. So you go on tour uh, doing that? Or yeah, you, all like, over North America. Oh, wow, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. And you mentioned something about uh, you have one on YouTube as well, or is it on uh, oh, I have Amazon? A, yeah, or I have on an the, album on iTunes. On and the all World the, Wide yeah, Web People can right? listen to me. People can go to the CBC and listen to me on the debaters and all the... Yeah. On the debaters. Yeah. Oh, that the, would be fun. It's great. The yeah, debaters yeah. is the best. Yeah. That's cool. It's fun to argue with very funny people. It's and, like a dream. And I like arguing with people that are smarter than me. Yeah, and they I, are I, I think that's much smarter than me. So. <laughs> all right, I'm going to put this in the oven, but as we talked about, the magic of television. Go on top or bottom? Let's go on top. We'll throw that under there. And then we'll grab our other one out. And I'll get you to come back and grab the casserole. I didn't even see that go but in. Look at that. Doesn't look great. That looks incredible. Awesome. Some of the blue cheese has started to spill out, so we know that the center is nice and hot, right? Because that blue oh, cheese perfect. would have cooked. Yeah. Uh, you want to use that and grab the casserole, I and we'll sure get do. this uh, started to plate up here. Oh, listen to that crackle. Yeah, that's great sound, isn't I it? I realize we already have the cooked one, but <laughs> that frying pork, there's nothing wrong with that. No, that nothing is the at best all. ever. All right. So take a nice chunk of that. You can see how nice and crispy it got. Yeah. So that's because we added olive oil to the breadcrumbs, so they got oh, okay. nice and golden brown. So get a, get a nice chunk of that, put it right in the center there. I don't need to do it any kind of fancy way. We're not. No, 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 no. We're just throwing it, it on the plate here this time. Tin. <laughs> no, no, we don't. <laughs> Easing it up on yeah, that. We don't need the molds or anything oh, okay. fancy like that. Make Feel sure it. we get lots of nice color. Look at that sauce. Looks great. Smells phenomenal. And then let's see how this goes here. If we slice her up. All right. That's hot. So is this. <laughs> yeah, it's very hot, I'm hot. sure. Can we see it? Let's see the inside. All right, let's have a look there. Oh, it's beautiful. Doesn't that look great? Looks Zoom amazing. in, get it. Yeah, get, get close up on that bad boy. It's a happy face. <laughs> <laughs> that is the very happy blue cheese, pulled pork, pork tenderloin, happy face. We'll save this one for us that's, to eat. That's like the <laughs> that's like the heel of the bread. Yeah, exactly. We can fight over it. Well, it's and also chef snacks, right? We got yeah, yeah. we got to look after ourselves. You earned it. I'll give this a couple more snaps of the uh, fresh cracked pepper. This is gorgeous. It smells so incredible. Doesn't it smell good? The, you know, you can smell the blue cheese, those roasted vegetables. Yeah. I can smell the prosciutto because that's just one of my favorite things. <sighs> Add a little extra blue cheese there, and there you have it: crispy pork roulade with three cheese and roasted vegetable casserole. It looks like perfection to me. Looks good. Should we try it? Yes. We've Can got we our, try it? We're allowed to eat absolutely. it? Absolutely. And we've got our, uh, our I thought we were going to do like a, and, and now spoons. we have to cut to, I thought there was going to be some sort of bait and switch. No, not today. You nice. actually get to dig in and try it. Do I have to just eat the tiny one? No, can I we, can dig, we oh, can dig into that guy. I'm so excited. It's good, hey? Holy nice God. and moist. How long did it take to cook this? Like, wh how long was it in the oven for? 350. Um, oh, no. I'm trying to get probably about 12 minutes or so. Trying to build the perfect bite. Oh, that looks like, it's like when you, right there. It's like when you finish the dish and you have all just the, everything you love <laughs> for that one final swoop. And you do the, you do the final swoop of the last sauce on the plate. Oh, it's killer. That, that looks like a happy man right there. Mm -hmm. I like that. Not bad, hey? It's perfect. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. And that's your dish done my way. I like your way. <laughs> <laughs> it's my way now. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. That's all, what I really strive for. Yeah. <laughs> this is my way. I'm going to take all of this now. <laughs> now what better way to enjoy our amazing dish than with an amazing cocktail? With me today is Alicia from Clive's Classic Lounge. Hi Alicia, how are you? I'm great, thanks. How are you? I'm fabulous and I'm excited to have you here. Um, Good to be here. So, we got three cheese casserole, we got mm -hmm. pork roulade. What, uh, what concoction did you come up with today? Yeah, so uh, I tried to match it. Uh, I know that you said there's going to be some really nice blue cheese in there, and mm -hmm. I, I love those flavors. So I just tried to, to play around and match a bit. So we've got uh, green chartreuse here, which is nice and purple, so lots right. of uh, rosemary character in that. And that's a and fairly strong, predominant flavor, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. yeah. So we're just using a tiny little, a little bit. bit. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just, just enough to flavor it a bit. And then bourbon is going to be the base of this drink. It's a really rich spirit. You know, it's got a little bit of sweetness to it, so it's going to stand up nicely uh, to such a rich dish there. Yeah, and bourbon has, 
is, is this like a smokier type one or um, with the caramel and all that kind of stuff? Is that more, what it is? More yeah? caramel, less smoky, oh, okay. but uh, but definitely definitely full bodied. Right. Like, okay. I know we usually talk about that with wine, but with uh, with spirits as well, it's a very uh, very rich, very bold. Right. Bold kind so of that'll play in because there's pulled pork in here too, so exactly. that might be part of it. Yeah. Okay. It'll be good. Excellent. And then um, one of the wines that goes really well with with pork is Negro Moro. It's got those sort of like earthier, kind of like funky notes to it, and I love it. So I did a <laughs> red wine reduction. Funky blue cheese. Yeah. I like exactly. Where you're going. Yep, right. Yep. Um, so red wine reduction with some rosemary and uh, orange peel in there as well. So that's that? kind of yeah, get in there. Actually, if you want to do a little straw tasting. Oh, that smells delicious. Yeah, I'd love yeah. to. Yeah. And then to finish it off, just a little bit of orange bitters. So that's um, just to balance the drink out, basically, and make sure that it's not too sweet, too too anything. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah. I love the the combination of rosemary and orange. I think that's just yeah. a really neat. Yeah, it works out really well. It still winds up being a little savory, which I like. Nice. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna add some ice into there, and this one's a uh, this one's a stirring cocktail. Oh, not so a, no fancy shaking. No fancy oh, shaking. Okay. I'm sorry. That's all right. That's all right. I'll live. So just a quick little <laughs> stir, and the reason we're doing that is just to keep the drink nice and uh, nice and silky. You want a, a really beautiful texture from that. Where did okay. that go? Oh, I'm sorry, lost the straw. Okay. <laughs> um, Mm -hmm. Taste, yeah, make sure That's it's all there. About exactly where we want it to be. Perfect. And I'm also going to uh, pour this over some big ice cubes there. Yeah, you've got some different ice cubes in there. Yeah, it's just going to let the drink dilute nice and slowly so that uh, it doesn't get completely, all the flavors don't get completely eliminated right, by the cold. Right, yeah. If the, water, the smaller right? the ice cube, the quicker they dilute, uh, they'll dilute the drink, right? Exactly. Okay, okay. Exactly. We'll just wanna, area. <laughs> okay, make sure we got the, I'll pick the bigger one. <laughs> you of did course, a great yeah, job of pouring them evenly. Size it up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Next time <laughs> I know. I'll. Get a little more in here. <laughs> I am the host of the show, after all. It's true, it's true. All right, well, so I can't wait to try this. It looks great. And a little sprig of rosemary on there. A little sprig of rosemary. Gotta this get, is really Gotta get your work, greens though. in, you know? Yeah, greens enough. are good for you. Green chartreuse, green rosemary. Well, I'll take the one that fell in. All right, sounds good. <laughs> That's amazing. It looks like a piece of art, doesn't it? I'm sure they got a great picture of it. So. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, wow. I think that's that. gonna work amazingly with this. Why don't you dig in? Have a quick bite there. My favorite part. <laughs> Careful, it might be hot. All right. All right. Let's try a piece of this. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think you nailed it. I think that's gonna be my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I think it will be. That rosemary goes so nicely with this dish. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Spot yeah. on. Good. Glad you like. Check out our website. You'll find more information on today's show and maybe a few surprises. I'm Garrett Shack. Thanks for watching and don't forget to savor the flavor. Now let's dig in.